people do that? Yes. There are a lot of people playing mobile games these days. Some of them are fucking awesome. Sword and Sorcery? If you haven't played Sword and Sorcery, check that shit out. It's sick. <clears throat> Music in it? Jim Guthrie? Ugh. It's incredible. Man is, man is a genius. Shit. So, I think I spent too much money, too much belief sculpting land, and not... Oh yeah, wait, I got a land expansion, that's right. Completely forgot all the benefits of that. So I'm just going to take out the rocks real quick, because they give 100. 60 for the smaller ones. I don't want to spend too long. I'm kind of afraid, I know you can like take out trees and rocks by just destroying the land under them, but I'm worried that land under them, I start like studying them, it's, it's hard to say, land under them, uh, but I, I, I'm i sort of worried that it doesn't give you belief. What, what is this, animal furs? Sort of a weird semi-descriptive picture there. I mean, I like it. I'm not complaining. Ochre. Who's ochre? Well, let's find out. Ochre is a natural earth pigment which ranges in color from yellow to deep brown. It was used in cave paintings and early writing. Interesting. So, uh, it makes sense. But I need it for, uh. That shit. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so yeah. let's just pop out yeah. dudes left yeah. and right here. Fuck. New, new, so learn from my mistakes. It's best to start far away and progress inwards. I bet I could have accessed some of those houses. Damn it, that was dumb. Stupid. Stupid, stupid. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not that upset at myself. All right. It's important to learn from your own mistakes. So I have to make sure, who, somebody's trying to get in touch with me here. Um, so I want to save like maybe, I don't know, like 200 belief, shit, just so I don't end up in this same predicament of not being able to make babies, but, alright, but I also want to continue to expand, this, this seems like a good idea right here, sort of. Moving across the coast where it's not too deep. Shit. Okay, I'm already down to 300 belief. Fuck. Yep. Alright. So let's. Let's try to gather some belief. Alright, man. There's 200 more. Okay, this is good. Oh, and I can gain some more. That was smart. See, I'm getting better at this. It's best to use the smaller houses or the bigger tents. Oh, and here is my totem card. Okay, interesting. Hmm. It's a hundred belief, I think, to cast a totem. But I wonder if it'll let me just mass produce followers. The thing is, when they die, you lose <clears throat> belief every time somebody dies. But if I spend it all, it could be... I don't want to do that. That's that's a horrible thing to do. Uh, but, you know. That's why I'm basically mass murdering people just to get belief. Um, it's, it's a sick, ungodly thing. Uh, it is a mean practice, I would say. But I might have to, to do it if, you know, I stalemate myself again. Alright, so I'm just, yeah, it's not a bad idea to sort of uncover a lot of these chests. I don't want to waste too much belief on it, but I do want to get commandments, sort of. Now I think, I think there's an important distinction between gold and wooden chests. I think certain items only come from certain chests, certain types of chests, but I also think that they are randomly generated, and that... 
the contents at least of the chest, not their locations. Ooh, alright, so I've unlocked settlements. That's good. And I've unlocked the upgrade store, which just says that there is no shop. You can, however, use gems to buy, uh... Fuck, and, uh... New cards. Not new cards, but, um, cards that you've... Like, resource cards, like the wood and the felt and stuff. However... See, I have no idea what they've changed, but you used to have to use gems to buy settlements, which are w one of the most useful items in the game because it allows you to consolidate um, belief. So, like, I could put a settlement here, and all this time release belief that's coming from these green buildings would be uh, absorbed. I mean, yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Absorbed into the main friggin' statue. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Is that just babble? Okay. Um, I think I can get a level 2 out of this sucker right here. One trick that I'm not doing at all, and that I should be, is to just concentrate on the, the negative space here. And really don't look at the, the blueprint that's there, because you're really just trying to form one... You know, this isn't necessarily going to expand into something bigger. You just want to look at the, the negative space when you're planning your city. You know what I mean? You know what to mean? Alright. I don't really need this. I need to make sure I have enough room for them to walk up here, but... I don't think... I think, like, over here is fine. Um, okay, yeah. Let's, let's try to move out. Move forwards a bit. Um, yeah, I guess, I guess this is our best idea here. Stay on that level. Ah, shit. Wait a minute. Yeah. Okay, that's fine, because they can walk up and go back down. Everything will be good. And I'll just try to expand on this level, like, all the way around. The problem is I don't want to build here. Okay, good. Without getting this chest. This is, this is easy enough. Alright, so... Moving towards settlements. They were a bitch to get in 1.2. Just the resource cards for them. Just took forever. Kind of hoping that's changed. Down to, down to 200 belief again. It's not good. I'm not conserving my belief enough. Interesting. I thought those guys were just wandering. It looks like one of them is. No. They had just finished the houses. Alright. Back up to 635. Looks like we're doing okay now. It is tricky. You do have to be strategic to start. Now, last time I was playing this, by the end of my... By the time I got to the, like, very, very boundaries of how far it would let you go advance in the game, which is when I kind of stopped playing. Um, I was at like 63, maybe more, maybe 120,000 belief, something like that. I actually played through it twice. I was really addicted to this for a while. It's a good, it's a good fucking game. I fully support it. Any criticism that I have is just, you know, more or less, I don't know, just... I'm really saying stuff that I think that they will fix over time, and I'm, I'm really just saying it just in case, you know. They say that they watch all of the Let's Play videos that are made, so if they're watching this, you know, this is really just constructive criticism. I, I really do love this game, and I really think you should buy it as long as you're okay with the fact that it is a, an early... Maybe not an early beta, but it is a beta, you know. It's very functional, you know, there aren't really any game-breaking bugs, you know, nothing like that nothing nasty like that but you know it is there is stuff like this this you know slight pacing issue and just sort of really my biggest complaint about it is just that it's not it doesn't let you get as far as i want i can't play the game as much as i want you know once you hit that expansion cap you know it, there's not much to do at that point you know um yeah yeah i guess that's all right they're not the best spots for houses, but I'll have to do, I suppose. 
Gotta make this little land bridge a bit thicker here. Gonna, thickness is what's important. Um, it's not a good. Oh shit! Damn it! Fucking treasure chest. I. Oh man, this is bad. I shouldn't be wasting belief on this. Shit, this well, sometimes we give in to our impulses and our desires. This is one of those times. Maybe hard to see. Alright, um. 200. Okay, I'm getting, I'm getting like a steady supply now. This isn't too bad. I bet you they'll bump up this time, though. But, uh, belief spawning time. Okay, you know what? I just I need to just move forward at this point until I can get up here. That should be my goal. <laughs> These wolves are really goofy. Obviously, they're uh, still pretty pretty buggy there. I'm also completely forgetting about these trees. These are a great source of food. What the fuck am I doing? I'm just being an idiot. I apologize if you've been screaming at me for being a bit of a, a slow one. Okay. Where is this guy going? Alright, so he's trying to get up there. Hmm. Okay. Let's think. Let's, let's be careful about this. That was not what I wanted to do. So I need to make steps. Which requires a decent amount of belief. Oh. I swear I clicked left click there. That wasn't supposed to happen. I didn't mean for it to be like this. Alright. I think I got it. I think we're good now. He still seems to be having issues. Ooh, nice. My followers wish to live on higher land. I think he's good now. So if he if he gets all, yeah. See, I just healed him by clicking there. They get tired because they've been out of their house too long. And just pep him up, keep him from dying. Used to be you lost 50 belief when dying. Wouldn't be surprised if that's increased now. Oh, okay. So this... So I'm glad I just thought of this. This is the perfect time to use the totem. This is when it is totally worth it. And it's just something that should be done. Um, interesting. So I'm going to need to build steps to this thing. I wonder if I should just get that over with real quick. Not very great, but whatever, it'll do. Um, Alright, so let's stick a totem, like, just right down here. Damn, alright, awesome. Now I should be able to spawn people, hopefully, from the tents that give me belief. Fuck yeah. Okay, so go. let's get, like, go. one, two, three, four. Yep. What? Uh -huh, I see. See what they're doing. Clever. Clever 22 cans. So I can't just get a ton of by, by, by leaf, bit belief by swatting people with the totem and then just use it all and kill them off. Apparently I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed to be an evil god. Not that it, you know, that was ever my intention. I prefer to be nice. So eventually the idea for this game is that you expand outward. You know, you have to continue to expand outwards in order to increase your population. In order to advance through the... The, uh... Ages, or... Epics, or... Civilization periods, I think is what they call them now. Um... In order to get through those, you know, you have to continually expand, you know, physically out through the lands. And, um... The way that they've capped the game now, which is my only complaint about it, you know, it's just that they you get to a point where you can't expand outwards anymore. So really, you know, you can you can level like the whole land, and people have gotten up to like I think ten thousand followers that way, and they do stop you from expanding at one point. Um, you couldn't advance to the Bronze Age until this patch, but 
No, you can't. But I'm sure they've capped it again somehow. And that's really my only complaint about the beta, which is, you know, I acknowledge is a completely bullshit complaint because, shit, I forgot to deactivate my totem there. Um, because, you know, it is a beta, and they have to stop you. They can't just, you know, make the whole game readily available. This sucks. Oh, this is awful. But it moved me a little closer to settlements. I'll be worth it. All the clicking. All the patience. So this thing should be a I'm gonna have to destroy that house to get that card. 